Welcome to the Heart Attack Gym, where we serve heart attacks. You know in Nevada, or Vegas, there's a restaurant called the Heart Attack Cafe. Oh my god. Did you kill Magnazone? Everything's just gonna die, isn't it? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode 40? Yep. 40 of the Pokemon Blaze Black, Bolt White, Nuzlocke versus with Brendan, Dark Devil 26, the guy who's currently watching the Mets lose. Hey, we have runners on first and second. Um, <laughs> I, I think we do at least. Yeah, we do. It's at a commercial break right now, but hey. <laughs> All right, if you have missed all of the previous episodes, somehow, some way, go watch them. As it stands, three, two, one, go. All right, so who did Bianca lead with? Bianca led with things in the following order. It was me and Chow on the right. So I mean, I mean on the left. Sharna so in the middle. Sharna in the middle, meaning I think I'm going to put Golurk in the middle. And it was Persian on the right, so that means I'm going to put. But Volcarona is already on the right, so I'm gonna put Haxorus on the right. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna go and lead with. All right, game plan. <coughs> I got a a bug just flew down my throat. Ew! Hi. Ew! Yeah, it was unpleasant. Well, like, okay, so I'm gonna be honest. Um, so I work at YMCA, and uh, there's bugs everywhere in the facility. It's just so nasty. It's like I'll just say, like, okay, I love working there, but let's just say it's not one of the cleaner facilities <laughs> I've, I've I've ever seen. Like there were like there was a spider at the bottom. It was a big one too at the bottom of the pool. Oh no, the, the, you're right. The Red Sox got out of the animals gate here. But um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm not even y'all. I'm not even watching. I just assumed that was what's happening. No, yeah, uh, Red Sox are winning two one right now. But um, I didn't. I actually made that up. I had no idea. Well, I didn't make it up. I just didn't know. Okay. Sure. Dude. But uh, but um, yeah. Facilities a mess. There are like sometimes where birds, legit birds, have flown into the, like one of the smaller pools before, and um, <laughs> they've caused a ruckus. That would, yeah, that makes sense. And uh, like I don't know, like it's just not one of the, I, like there's nothing that pisses me off more than like an uncleanly facility. And I say Un that, but I'm probably one of the more sloppy people in my family. Like I, I, I okay. So here's my if it's my own filth. Like my own clothes, or for example, everywhere, then I don't care. But I do have my limits, and I cannot tolerate other person's filth. I, if I recall correctly, this uh, magazine had HP fighting, right? Don't remember. I have to double check that. I'm actually curious now. Okay, so. Uh, I. Yeah, I, I totally understand where you're coming from. Like, you don't have to. And there's a difference between, like, surface level, like, clutter and, like, the grime and dirt that like gets like that's un like a layer of just like absolute disgustingness you know my goal work eats shadow punch man but yeah like i have my limits oh so we use it roughneck chance sent out chancy is this thing gonna counter me right now oh hello my low tick i'm so happy to see you not really at all actually nasty plot no you're dying I'm gonna dragon dance in its face right now because I don't know if you have counter and I want to know. Everyone out here setting up. Gravity. Okay. All right. Chansey should die to a plus one stab strength from a Tyranitar. The problem is though that um I'm gonna die. Oh my god! Its HP bar goes down so slowly. Reflect. Disgusting. HP bar goes down so slowly. I, I should have went. I should have gotten. I forgot to get. Um, Holy cow! They gave me seven thousand experience. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go whale lord. Um, I am going to go for nightshade again on Musharna, and I'm going to kill Persian because Persian's plus two and Persian is scary. So yeah. Is there any good items to just like grab in Opelucid? Um, I think you could check all the houses. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm not really sure. 
It's funny, it's like a race, but also like I need the resources. <laughs> Come on, kill. Yes. Okay, Persian's down. Um, I just need Musharna to go down too, and then I can get my um, yeah, Ice Beam on the Whale Lord. Expected that. Um, I just really hope that this Boosharna doesn't go for Hypnosis. That would be lovely. Uh, it went for Hypnosis. Uh, and I, okay, I put my Golurk to sleep. Okay, that's that's good. I was just hoping it wouldn't put Volcarona to sleep. Golurk is probably the most useless member. Oh, I have to Psychic the Meech out here, which means he's probably going to put something else to sleep. Um, the doors in Opelucid are kind of awesome. They are. But your Opelucid City. Oh. My Opelucid City, they're different. Really? Yeah, because um, black and white have different Opelousan cities. Here. Yours is more futuristic, and mine is more past-themed. Oh, yeah. This guy's literally talking about... Uh, this guy's literally talking about like how in a different timeline, there's a version of Opelousan City that looks more old-timey. Yeah, my, mine is that version of Opelousan City. And apparently, you can talk to him and have it changed. What? That's what it, he said. If you give me a Pokemon that knows Charge, I'll change it. Huh? This is uh, news. I never knew that. Hold up. I don't actually know if it works. I don't have a Pokemon that knows Charge on me. So I lost my Will Lord, but um. Oh, I don't. Uh, okay. This attempt is going a lot better though than the last. So um. A Destiny Knot. That's su I forgot the Destiny Knot. If if a Mon used Attract you become attracted to it as well. Or it becomes attracted to you as well, I should say. Yep. So I need I, I need to preserve my Pokemon at all costs. So God, it actually um... did something. <sighs> okay. I need to preserve as many Pokemon as I possibly can. Um, can I kill the Boosharna? This is definitely a kill, right? Please, can I get the boost too? That'd be lovely. Nope, no boost, but I did get the kill. Okay. I just need Golurk. I need to survive with four Pokemon. Like, if I can make a Power Whip! Oh, Golurk is definitely dead. Golurk is so dead. Yep, Golurk's dead. That's okay. Why does Simisage get Power Whip? Um, uh, I did not know it had Power Whip. I assumed Seed Bomb, if anything. It got Power Whip. I don't get it. Here comes the Embor. Um, I assume this Milo Tick is going to kill this too, so um, I'm just going to double attack the... Um... Wait, I can go for Dig. Dig might be actually be a good play here. Um, you know what? I'm afraid though, because if he goes for... A, if she goes for a rock move... And kills Volcarona. I'm kind of in trouble. Um, I know she's gonna attack this slot, so like I could go for bulk up again. In fact, I am gonna go for bulk up again. I think. I think that's not bad. I'm gonna go for bulk up again. I'm gonna go for dig on the Embor slot, and I'm gonna psychic the Embor slot. Can I get the kill though? That'd be lovely. I don't think this is gonna kill, but um. That did nothing! Oh, that's right! It's a ground type! It's not a fighting type anymore! What, Mon is not a fighting type? How are we? Embor! Oh, Embor, yeah. You, you, it's a fire and I, and I lost my Hatcher, so it's looking like I'm gonna. I, I think it's oh, looking, no. like I'm gonna, I'm looking like I'm probably gonna wipe again, or I'm gonna go in with two Mons. I thought you said you were gonna do grinding. I changed my mind. <laughs> it's too impatient. There is something ahead. The road is closed. Thank you, dude. Can you not kill my Volcarona? Thank you. Um, so the fact that this is a ground type is very bad. Um, so let me go for a low kick on the Milotic. Can I get an um, encounter here? Oh, I can. Oh, there's Shaking Grass. Do I want it? Yeah, I'll go low kick on the Do I want Shaking Grass in my first encounter? You know, I'll chance it. I'll chance it. Just don't be an auto-no. It's an auto-no. I wasted my encounter. Wait, on the on the top? Yeah. Oh, I can get two more encounters. Nice. I just I just wanted the shaking grass, because sometimes they're like starters and stuff. Yeah, fair. I was like, hey, it's there for me. 
I'll catch it. I mean, why not? I think I'm going to lose again. Alright, I caught the Audino. Why do you know acrobatics? Why do you have a flying gym? Um. Oh. So. Mod? A Simi Sage. So. My <laughs> the Simi Sage is putting in work right so now. So I'm gonna wipe. I did better the last time. Yeah. No, I definitely did it right now. Um. I will name this Audino. Timothy. Timothy. You should have named it Mekon. Was it was it male or female? Male. Okay, then Timothy works. <laughs> then Timothy's a perfect name. What if it was my... a female, you had to name it Mekon. I'm curious what my encounter would have been, but let's go get these Moon Guy out of the way. The Moon Guy. <laughs> Wait, this one's a level 30 Fungus. What the heck? What are you doing? So, here? I wiped again, which means, guess what, guys? I'm going back to Fall Guys. Yeah, or can we just... Okay, I have a better idea. Can we just do the thing where, um... I, I already want me to not do that, or like, um... So, I'm open to it, but it's going to be, like, a lot of consecutive episodes. It's going to be a lot of consecutive grinding. Uh... Depending on how often it, but I, I'd prefer you, you finish the battle and know how much you need to do as opposed to switching back and forth. Like I think yeah, it's better fair. for. Yeah, fair. I'll do that. Okay. To um. To Dragon Spiral Tower to grind. And I also need Shadow Punch on my board, so I'm gonna. I, I think I have another Heart Scale, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go teach a Shadow Punch because that'll make this battle so much easier. I think I, I had the right idea. I just need Shadow Punch. So I think I'm going to give Tyranitar Ice Fang. What would my first encounter have been? Curious. It would have been a Moongus? All right, I don't actually feel that bad then. What? Well, Moongus did well for me. I like a Moongus. I don't, I don't think a Moongus is bad, but it's no better or worse than Audino. You know? Fair. Like, it's, it's the same. It's, like, net neutral, in my opinion. Although, although, it is a fighting resist. Give me Shadow Punch. Shadow Punch. So maybe it would have been much better. Just because... Ooh, you learned a, a lot of fighting good moves, resist actually. Super nice. Shadow, you learned Shadow Punch, you learned Ice Punch... Yo, hold up. I might have to get multiple of these. Um, I might actually just get Ice Punch for the gym. That's crazy. Um, the curse. Alright, I got myself Shadow Punch. So, um, that's fine for now, I guess. Um, but I'm gonna go grinding Dragon Spell Power. And I think that's what I'm gonna do for the remainder of my time. Because, you know, I'm kind of at a standstill. This is huge, though. This is like... I'm losing ground at the wrong time. This is this is the time that I need to take advantage and, and actually pull ahead. I can't start losing fights myself. I gotta be careful. Man, I'm not coming through and through in the clutch. I hate it. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grind everybody up to level like I don't know, man. We'll we'll see what happens. I'm definitely under leveled though. That is for damn certain. I feel like I'm under level 2 again. I don't know how this happened. I just grind everyone up to 60. Grinding stream number 5 coming <laughs> in our 6 right on right up. Yeah. <laughs> um I actually I feel like I can go into the gym. Is the famous last I mean words you can here, you can but... do uh you can do trainers. Yeah, I can definitely do gym trainers right now. I'm just going to give my Drudagon. Drudagon, what item do you get that makes you useful? Dragon Fang. You should have gotten it in Dragon Spiral Tower. Yeah, I'll give you a Dragon Fang. I don't think that's Dragon Attack right now, though. Oh, really? Uh, Tyranitar, though. You have the leftovers right now, but I think I'm going to give you the Never Melt Ice, and I'm going to go give you Ice Fang. Actually, hold on. Let's go give you Ice Fang before I start giving you the Never Melt Ice, just in case I get into some, like, accidental battle in the meantime, where leftovers would be useful. Fair, fair, fair. I'm, I like, I'm losing ground. Like, that's, I guess that's part of the reason why I'm getting so impatient is because we're, we're winding down to the end and I don't want to lose ground. Like, this is... Uh, Luxio right. is modest. It is Electric Dark, though. Mm-hmm. And Audino does have Regenerator, so... That's nice. 
Regen's a good ability. Stop gaining to experience so slowly. I need better Pokemon. Then just go let. Alright. So, put full Corona in the box for now. Just while we're flying back to try to get the Heart Scales, get Ice Fang. What move do I replace? Is the real question. Strength? What are your options? Earthquake, Dragon Dance, Strength, and Crunch. What, what Pokemon is this? T-Tog giving it Ice Fang. Um, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Crunch, and what? Earthquake, Strength, Crunch, and Dragon Dance. I'll get rid of Strength, hello. That's what I was thinking. Oh, no, wait. Is it a rock move? Yeah, it's Stab Rock move. No, never mind. Keep that. Uh, honestly, get rid of Earthquake. Or D-Dance. I think not. Get rid of Earthquake. I, I, I honestly don't think Earthquake is very good on D-Tar. I think you should get rid of Earthquake. I think the other moves are far more important at the moment. You can always reteach it Earthquake, right? Because we get the TM for it on the very next route, so... You want me to show you a Mon with Substitute? Do I have the TM for Substitute? I don't actually know if I do. I do. Okay, sure. He's Atu. You're learning sub now. I can't wait for um, Drayden to like whip out a Garchomp and just like get me back in this game. Because I know you're going to ground types right now. And I, I'm just gonna, I cannot wait to see the look on your face. Super what happens neat. when he goes into a Garchomp. And just Yo, I mean, if, if you're telling me to get rid of Earthquake right now on my T-Tar... No, uh, like I genuinely and, think and, you should get rid of Earthquake. No, no, no. And then he goes into... And I just Dragon Dance instead. Garchomp yeah. doesn't matter. I'll Ice Fang it. Exactly. Like, I'm, well, I'm, I'm genuinely being genuine here. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to... I mean, to, no, like, to I, I, I want... I definitely think I want, you should get rid of Earthquake. I want Ice Fang. The question is whether or not I should just get rid of Crunch for now. No, I don't think you should get rid of Crunch. The problem is I don't have a way to relearn Earthquake right now. Yeah, no, we get the TM in the very next round. Stress me out, though. And honestly, do you really think you need Earthquake at all for, like, the rest of the game? What kind of question is that? What do you mean what kind of question is that? That is a perfectly logical question. Do you need Earthquake? Ground? One of the best offensive types you know, in the game? If you look at the things in the if you look at the grand scheme of things, tell me. We have a fighting type elite for a ghost elite for a dark elite for a psychic elite for a dragon gym and do you think we really need Earthquake? Oh, I can give Oh my god, I can make this this Dredagon glare. I can give it glare. And Dragon Claw. I don't know if I want to bring it into this gym. It's kind of stressing me out, but if I'm going to bring it to the gym, it might as well know Dragon Claw. I don't know if I was going to do it clear, though. How did you live? You're a Golord! I think every other mod is where I need it to be for moves. I can give uh, Corsola Ice Beam as well. Oh yeah, because Corsola isn't useless, that's right. <laughs> no, it's defensively incredible, actually. I, why did they think it was a good idea to buff Corsola by that much? I don't know. Hey, I ain't complaining. I'm, I, 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 I didn't expect you to. <laughs> Where's my Ice Beam TM? There it is. Teach Ice Beam. Corsola. Oh, I could also teach you to Tyranitar. Uh, we'll draw Protect here. Okay. So you said this is rotation? For you, it's rotation. For me, it's triple. Honestly, I think triple is going to be the, the preferred way to go here. And but... I think they have different Pokemon for each of them. So, like, they won't have the same Pokemon for the both of us. All I know is that they Oops. both have a Hatcher. So, other than that, it's, it's completely different. I'm not looking forward to this gym. Like, the, it's, I've been beaten down by enough gyms already as is. Yeah, this is going to be... This is gonna be interesting. My heart just can't take much more of it. I mean, the problem really that I'm suffering from is just all of my mons are weak to the same types. 
and, and the only nothing, problem I nothing have resists is... dragon except for Magnazone and and like, they... without a random Garchomp and you're kind yeah. of screwed. Uh, the problem I, I have is I Pokemon suck. They is it better garbage. to go never melt ice or is it better to be leftovers with Dragon Dance on T Tar? Um... Also, T Tar is a, a problem potentially because Garchomp's gonna have Sand Veil. It might not. It might have. Ruskin. It might have Ruskin because this isn't just like a regular game. No, nah, yeah, it definitely might have Ruskin. Where is the gym in this town? Um, it's hard to miss. I've missed it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the, the, it's just, it's the. Okay, I'll, <laughs> give a, I'll give you a hint. It's the one building with the two gigantic dragons sticking <laughs> out of it. I found it. That guy's had pretty hard to miss. Path of the gym shaped like two dragons. Blah 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 blah. blah. All right. Um, terrified. Terrified. Have fun! Now, the one benefit is that T-Tar will boost its own special defense, which is good. And then it'll whip out a random guard comp. Yep. And I have no, legitimately no switch into that. I mean, I, I guess my Chandelure is Levitate, but... I want to say I know one of the Pokemon for Iris when I face her. I think she has a Kingdra, which is actually terrible because my team gets destroyed by Kingdra. Other than that, I only know she's Kingdra and Hatchrish. That's not a dragon type. Get out of here. Kingdra's a dragon type. No, this guy just pulled out a Gyarados. Oh, I thought you were talking about Kingdra. I was like, gold? Are you good? <laughs> it might be a dragon type. Oh, no. You knew Dreyondo and his shenanigans. Uh, does he think it an earthquake? Um, No. I just know Claydol just did a really, uh, did a lot of a metric fuck ton of damage to me with, uh... Oh, got no choice. I gotta go into Vibes and see if it has Earthquake. A Dragon Danced. Oh my god, are you gonna die? Are you gonna die? Are you gonna lose in the first trainer battle? <laughs> I hope not. If How he danced again... Oh, he's so greedy! Click this T-Ball here. Please don't be too hard, Dragon. Please just be water flying. And the verdict is... Died to the, dra the Thunderbolt. It's super effective, so it must not be part dragon. Yeah. That do now, be it. Now dragon air comes out. That's a real dragon. That's a real dragon. Alright. I don't know what dragon air is going to do to me, but it's a real dragon. I feel like Thunder Wave or Rap or some shenanigans. Gyarados should be a dragon. Aqua Tail! What? Aqua Tail on what? Dragonite? What? Dragonair. Oh. I just heard Aqua Tail and that was my, that was my first thought process. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Draden had a Dragonite. I'm tempted to I, look up his teeth. I'm also, I, I mean, I also feel like I should, but also I've been playing this whole thing blind so far. No, I mean, the, <laughs> the, the gym trainers aren't, I mean, blah. The gym leaders don't have the same teams for us. So I'm tempted to look up your Higgy Hibs team for yours, and I won't look up mine. You know what? I'm going to do that. I won't look up mine, but I'll look up yours. Excuse me. And I'm going to and I'm gonna make really Excuse obnoxious me. sounds and be like, Ooh, ooh, you're so <laughs> true. You're going to so screwed to put additional pressure on you. This dude landed two dragon rushes, and Flinch was one of them. I didn't even know that move could flinch. Speaking of moves from an old episode when you talked about moves you never see their secondary effect. I don't know if Dreano added a flinch chance to that or if it always had a flinch chance, but I didn't know that could flinch. Oh, hey, Dragonite. All right, I'll come, okay, I'm avoiding Iris at all costs, but I still want to find Drayden's team. What are you going to do, Dragonite? You're also gonna Dragon Rush, and you're also gonna land it. Okay, I found a YouTube video. Hold on, let's see. I found a YouTube video. Okay. 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 I have good news for you. There's no Garchomp. <laughs> There's no. I will tell you as much. There's no Garchomp. Okay. That's all. This I'm dude saying. has landed four straight Dragon Rushes. That means, she, that means Irish might have a guard top. Fuck. No! <laughs> Here, do you want me to look up and tell you that one piece of information as well? No, I, I no, I, I just, I, uh, you know what? Not yet. I need to get that Bianca first. All right, all right. Yeah, no guard we'll save that. We'll save that piece of That doesn't mean none of the gym trainers do. Yeah, no, I, I assume one of the gym trainers is going to have a guard top, but like, 
Drayden himself does not have a Garchomp. However, that doesn't mean he doesn't have a Gra Dragon Ground type. What is that? A Flygon? Um, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Flygon's still scary, don't get me wrong. But it's you not know what's Garchomp, actually really so. funny? I actually think Iris might have a Superior on her team. His Superior oh my I god, do you Dragon also have an Aerodactyl? Why do you have all of the Pokemon? <gasps> Please don't. Aerodactyl could have EQ, couldn't it? Oh my god, I just got an update on my emotes. Let's go. I have no way to switch into this, so we're just gonna put Thunderbolt. Take down it. God, that was for the first battle of the gym. Every Mon terrifies me because every Mon learns Earthquake. <laughs> every one of the Mons that he had, the Gyarados, the Dragonite, the Aerodactyl, would just take me out if any of them had Earthquake. I don't think they all get it by level up, though. Have I showed you my emote sketches, by the way? Uh, I don't think I'm, so. I'm, I'm gonna get them right now. Hold up. I'm gonna DM. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot them in your DM. Hold up. All right, here's one. Behind my recording setup. And uh, here is the other. What, what is that from? It's from Dagon Rapa, and the second's from Kingdom Hearts. That's. I don't. I played Kingdom Hearts that one time, but I don't remember who that is. It's Aqua. Aqua. I don't know if I knew Aqua, because I only played the first. Yeah, no, like, she's in. Half an no, hour she's of the in first the, one. She's in the prequel. <laughs> 365 over 2? No, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> Bird by Sleep. I just Bird. said a, a name. I don't know what's in each. No, like that's Kingdom like Hearts. that might be the most mid of the Kingdom Hearts games. Three hundred fifty for two. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking with that title, but like, <laughs> what Pokemon is the best Pokemon to lead with against this gym? I don't even. I can't even pretend I can begin to know. I don't know. I guess Corsola honestly is my best lead. And yeah, just... it beats me. I, I wouldn't know. I mean, it's not like I know his team or anything, but like, yeah. Well, not for the I'm not at the leader yet. I'm literally on the second trainer. Oh, no, oh yeah, you're definitely going to have some events. Have fun! <laughs> Zvilus. I like that Pokemon. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Honestly, yeah. Hydreigon is one of my favorite Pokemon designs of all time. Not just dragons, like, just in general. Yeah. Oh my god! Five straight dragon rushes have landed against me, and you have Hustle, too. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I really like, um, like, I know a lot of the later gen Pokemon are just, like, so amazingly designed. Like, um, and I know a lot of the gen 1 Pokemon are lazy as shit. I don't understand why gen 1 gets so much praise. Okay, I know for a fact you get superpower by level up and rock climb, but not a rock move. Who? Drudigan? Drudigan. You're gonna have, like, Dragon Tail, superpower, sucker punch... And rock climb, I think. Look at you flexing your big fat Pokemon muscles. I have a Dredagon of the, like the exact same level. <laughs> Shh. Shh, just let it freeze. Okay. Outrage. Oh, okay. Imagine Gold taking the cup. Literally, like. Did I just lose Volcarona? Nope. Almost. <gasps> oh, sorry. I, I, I definitely wasn't. I definitely wasn't as excited for your suffering. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's not at all. Hey, okay, bye, Drudagon. Way <laughs> to my dragon resist. Your dragon Drudagon's dead, or their Drudagon's dead? Neither Drudagon's dead. My Volcarona was in against the Drudagon, and I switched it up. I said goodbye. Oh. That would make a lot of sense. Welcome to the Heart Attack Gym, where we serve heart attacks. You know in Nevada, or Vegas, there's a restaurant called the Heart Attack Cafe? Oh my god. Did you kill Magnezone? Everything's just gonna die, isn't it? So it seems oh, oh, Magnazone! It oh, seems Magnazone! Kind of still. Oh, you just took a superpower from a Drudagon. You have Sturdy? Nope! What do you have, Magnapool? Yeah. That's useless in playing. Yep. Um, so you're kind of screwed. Me? Yeah. Nah, it locked itself into Outrage again. Oh, then he's just a fool. I am not complaining. Just get a three turn outrage and we're good. Actually, it doesn't matter to that speed. I can't wait for you to run into the Gorkhomp. 
the inevitable bar top. Oh, nice crit on your outrage. I'm terrified from this gym. I wish this I gym's had, horrifying. This I gym's wish, horrifying. I wish Every I had single my ops, I wish I had my um, my Cryagonal. I wish I, I like I lost every Pokemon that would be good for this gym. I I need to encounter. I get two encounters though beforehand, so like I have options like Supreme, but first I need to beat the top who I can't seem to be at the moment. Ampharos? All right. Hey, Brendan, you know what would be really useful here? What? Earthquake. <laughs> how, how was I supposed to know they were going to have an Ampharos? Does Ampharos learn Focus Blast by level up? No. I don't think a single Pokemon learns Focus Blast via level up, actually. What it's does it learn? It's gonna have like about, Cotton Guard. Yeah, like Thunderbolt. Maybe they gave it Dragon Pulse because Dreano's a meanie. Uh, it might have learned Dragon Pulse by level up anyway. I mean, like Mega Ampharos doesn't exist yet, so. Yeah, but I think it always always had Dragon Pulse. I think it did too. Yeah, I think you're right. Hey guys, let's make this sheep and turn it into a dragon. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go for a strength here. That's a great idea. Don't get static. Oh, look at you. First turn static. There's the cotton guard. <laughs> Everyone knew it was coming. Yes. And it got first turn static para. Not para, but... For, oh, now it's signal beam? Get the get the confusion. No, we break through. We break through. We break through. We're breaking through. Well, I don't know how the song goes. Sorry. I, I'm really bad with songs. It was a high school musical song. Was that the high school musical reference? Yeah, I'm that, I was going to break out into a high school musical song, but I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> I'm, so glad, I'm glad you knew where I was going, though. <laughs> it's way too funny. <laughs> I got you. Every, every battle, I immediately run back to the Pokemon Center. I don't even remember who sings that song. It is... Uh, is, is that's breaking free, right? Yeah, I think that's the name of it. Uh, we're so Oh, yeah, that's the last that's song. That's the, the movie, two main right? characters, right? Yeah, no, I think that's, I no, know. the last song of the movie is, um, the we're all in this together. Yeah, that iconic one. Yo, that's the second is, to last. This is, yeah, this is pulling out some deep, the like, like memories, memories from a long time ago. I don't know if I can do like all the songs. Although Amanda and I still sometimes uh, quote the the one from the cafeteria. What's that song called? I don't even remember. But like, I haven't seen High School Musical in literally like a decade. The one that's all about like breaking the mold and like doing something that's not the thing you usually do. But I can't remember. Uh, status uh, stick to the status quo. Yeah, like I literally have not seen that movie in like a decade or any of them in like a decade. I just know a lot of the High School Musical songs are either icons or just straight up memes or like whatever. <laughs> That movie was legitimately groundbreaking for its time. Like, it did a lot of work. I have a question. What came first, that or Glee? That. It did come first. Okay, I'm, so... I'm very sure, but I could be wrong. Glee is from 2009. And High School Musical was definitely out before that. But Fracture? Why does everything... Swords dance. Hello. So I guess when you're done with that trainer, we can wrap up. Because we are at the uh, the 54 okay. minute mark. Show up. It's gonna take a minute. Oh, hey Gyarados. Once again, I am terrified. He's gonna dragon dance. I mean, yeah, it's just earthquake. It's whether or not he earthquakes. That's the only thing. Honestly, if I had an air balloon right now. I would give it to my Magnezone. Well, guess what? You don't! Sorry. Really this Magnezone could have a little balloon. It would just... It, would just, it just Dragon Dance twice again. Air Balloon's kind of... Air Balloon's kind of garbage, though. I really don't like that item. Like, in competitive play, Air Balloon is so mid. It's... I think it's more useful as a... bad heavy-duty boots than it is as a... Dodge ground type. But attack. you even get hit by stealth rocks with air Yeah, balloon. rocks, but not spikes. It's spikes. Yeah, and sticky webs too, I think. But um, I I think I have seen air That's balloon work 
once, and unfortunately, I was the victim of that. I actually once had an air balloon that lasted for like an entire battle of Amon that I switched in and out regularly, and it came into like clutch at the very end that I still had it. In um, um in NCP back when oh I was there. Oh my god, there, your Charizard's dragon dancing. Why is everything dragon dancing? I faced off against an air balloon, Ferrothorn, a Wall Choice Bandit, Excadrill, and it worked. I used an air balloon. Oh my god, your dragon dancing. Why is everything dragon dancing again? You got one, and <laughs> you're scary. Greed. Uh, let me just click strength real quick. Um, but yeah, I used a uh, air balloon Lucario to bring in on an Excadrill. No, sorry, that was a magnetized Lucario. I didn't use air balloon for that. I used air balloon another time. I don't remember what it was. Uh, it was a Jolteon, maybe. I used air balloon Melmetal the wall hippo. All right, I am all good. Alrighty, and I am good as well. So uh, your episode, you intro us out. All right, well, hopefully you guys are excited for what is bound to be the next episode on Brandon's channel where we're both panicking constantly. Uh, the nerves are just... The stakes they're, are they're, high! They're real. Um, but we are in a gym. Brendan's facing Bianca. It's getting real right now. We're getting on to the end of this series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying and We will see you guys all back here once more on Brendan's channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye!